Welcome to The Score, the free epicenter of local high school sports. We've got it all, so don't miss out. Brace yourself for fierce competition, highlights, and unforgettable moments. All brought to you by Central Maine Community College. More than just a community college, over 40 academic degrees and certificates. One of the lowest tuition rates in New England. Just go to cmcc.edu. Central Maine Motors Auto Group in Waterville, the dealer with no dock fees where cars and trucks cost you less. Online at cmautogroup.com. Hammond Lumber Company serving Maine and New Hampshire from 22 locations. Your building project partner, HammondLumber.com. Mid-State Machine. Looking for a career? Check out the Machinist Development Program at MidStateUSA.com. Also brought to you by Whittemore and Sons, your coyote tractor dealer. Sales and service by a family that cares. Somerset Stone and Stove, offering quality gas, pellet, and wood stoves and hardscape products. 201 Tire Battery and Service, your tire and battery experts on the Augusta Vassalboro line. P.J. Diggs, the excavation pros. If it's dirt, they do it. Renewal by Anderson, award-winning replacement windows and doors. Schedule your free consultation today. Assistance Plus, providing home care, behavioral health, and developmental services. Together, we can make a difference. Computer Improvements, Water Street, Skowhegan, your headquarters for computer maintenance. Dixon's Country Market in Benton, with 24-hour diesel service and the best takeout food around. And by Casella Waste, for your residential and commercial trash pickup. Now, let's go live to Mike Violet and A.J. Knight. Well, the big voice guy, half right. I am Mike Violet. He is not A.J. Knight. No, he not. is Ryan Bell. The college boy <laughs> is back. It is Christmas break. Welcome. Good to see you. Yeah, thank you. You too. Second game on. Got to see A.J. on Saturday and now back in here. Yeah, and tonight, or this afternoon, I should say, it's the first of two. A Lawrence Coney double dip will start off with a boys game. That is about five minutes away from tipping off. Then the girls game will follow scheduled 4.30 start time. We're not going to hit that. But we've got these two teams here, Ryan, that are struggling so far. Yeah. One and two. They both lost two out of their first three. Yeah, Coney comes in one and three, actually, and Lawrence one and two. We have the graphics here. We'll pull them up for you. McConey starting off against Camden Hills, lost by double digits there. They played all, all four games away at Oceanside, lost big, and then one at Gardner, 65-51 60, before losing to Mount Air at right before Christmas break. And then on the flip side, you can look at Lawrence, who lost to Messalonski again by 10. We had that one. And beat, how, how was that? Yeah, and that was a game where Lawrence had a 10-point lead early on and fell to pieces, and the Messalonski Eagles got some great supplemental scoring from players other than Merrick Smith and came back to win that game. I know Jason Pellerin would like to have that one back for sure. And then Lawrence went on to beat Nakoma 69-52, lost their last one before the break against Mount Blue. Yeah, 75-62 the final in that one. Going back to the Coney Rams and that loss that they suffered at the hands of Oceanside, 110-59 to was the final. 51 points scored by Carter Galley in that wow. game for Oceanside. Yeah, he had 51 points as it turned out. That was the differential in the game. 110-59. to 59. So, Coney looking to not allow a Lawrence player to score 51 points today. Yeah, it's the first time hearing about that. 51 points yeah. in a high school. I don't care who you're playing against. That is pretty darn good. Exactly, and his brother had 20 points, so 71 wow. points by the Galley boys in that one. We're just about set to get going here, so let's get a timeout. We'll come back. Starting lineups and the opening tip. Coney and Lawrence boys coming up next on The Score. For us, it's a family business that is steeped in tradition. You know, our relationship with Waterville goes back a long ways. Over the years, we've been fortunate enough to grow, and we've been able to grow with the town. We look at the work that we do as something bigger than just the sale of a car or the servicing of an automobile. We're here to be a part of something bigger than just ourselves by giving back to the community with our time and our energy, because it's all about taking care of people. I came for a visit and I just fell in love with it. They just want to see you be you and like just excel. There's a lot of opportunities here. 
It really gives me time to figure out what I want to do with my life. It's a good stepping stone to get to where you want to be. The tuition is definitely part of what brought me here. You know, credits transfer, that's huge, especially for a community college when you're trying to figure out what you want. CM's the best place. Honestly, it's the best place. You got to be here to experience it. When you're ready to tackle your next building project, no matter how big or small, depend on Hammond Lumber Company for the products and services you need. The knowledgeable staff at Hammond Lumber will be with you every step of the way and keep your project on schedule. From free estimating and project planning to design and drafting services, an extensive product inventory with a wide variety of brands to choose from, and of course, Hammond delivers from any of the locations across Maine and New Hampshire. Hammond Lumber Company, your building project partner. When it comes to your family's winter safety, 201 Tire Battering Service and Nokian Tires has your back with a Hakapolita R5. These Nokians are pure safety, offering comfort plus increased range for electric vehicles and hybrids. Get your Nokian Hakapolita R5s at 201 Tire Battering and Service, your complete auto center. Mechanics you can trust, Nokian Tires to keep you safe on the road. Your safety team is Nokian Tires and 201 Tire Battering and Service. Route 201. All righty, Parker Morin and Brandon Watson ready to jump it up. Cody in the whites, Lawrence in the blue. The tip is finally picked up by Gavin Lunt, and we are underway. Over in the left corner from Michael Hamlin. Cody playing man-to-man defense. Hamlin out front to Cole Curian. Curian angles in, drives, left-handed runner. Beautiful start on the driving lefty runner by Cole Curian. It's 2 to nothing, Lawrence. All right, bringing it up now for Coney. We got a whistle, and traveling is called on Alex Fortier. So it's Cole Kirian, Dane Zaustuski, Brandon Watson, Michael Hamlin, Gavin Lunt out there for the Lawrence Bulldogs. Alex Fortier, Parker Morin, Parker Surgent, and I'll get the rest because we've had some numbers change. Your favorite. I'll get the rest. Oh, I absolutely love that. You know I do. Lunt with a driving runner, and Lawrence two for two, taking it up lefty, and it's four to nothing Bulldogs. All right, back outside. Faking it now is Morin. Morin pops from the top, and it's good. That's a two. Parker Morin makes it four to two. These teams are not going to dilly-dally. They are going to get the ball up and down the court, and they're going to shoot it quickly. Here is Michael Hamlin. Of course, these two high schools met in the Class A North football championship game. And great rivals on the hardwood as well. Foul line right now for the Lawrence Bulldogs, Watson. Watson now drops it off to Hamlin. Hamlin steps back, faked it, didn't take it. Now to Luntz. Gavin. Nice feed inside. Zaustuski, the runner, no good. Rebound volleyballed around. Comes over. Kirian has it. Cole drives. Lays it over for Zaustuski. Zaustuski goes in. Fadeaway pop, no good from about five. And the rebound is cleared by Coney. Four to two. Lawrence by two. Six ten to go in the first. Here's Parker Morin. Morin on the weave to Fournier. Fournier spins in, loses his footing. He blew a tire, lead pass to Lunt. Gavin under, up, and he blew the bunny. And the rebound is cleared by Surgent. Surgent, who can fly, motors up, pulls up on a dime, and hits. So you blow the bunny, and then you give up a fast break basket. 4-4. It's the Capital City Classic. All of these games are countable. Here's Kirian. Handing it off to Lunt, now to Hamlin. Hamlin drives, goes in, the shot doesn't go. Rebound back up, no Watson. Back out to Kirian. Kirian rolls it off, and the rebound is cleared by Coney. Here come the Rams. Pass left side to Fournier. Fournier up top, a long one there is good. Jordan Benedict, Jordan Benedict with the three from the top. And it is 7-4, Coney. Rams have scored five straight. Here is Lunt. Lunt backs it out now. Lunt tries to drive. Gavin goes in, floats a pass. Somehow got through to Watson. Didn't take the shot. Michael Hamlin will, and he drains it. That's a three. We're tied at seven. It is going to be that kind of a game. Benedict goes in hard. No good. Rebound, Curian. It's four on four for now. Left side, Zaustuski. Stutter step on Fournier. Laid it back, and it's picked off by Benedict. Lead for Surgeon. Parker, inside, got bumped a little bit, missed the shot. Probably could have been a foul called there. The rebound to Lunt, 
And the outlet pass now to Kirian. Kirian up the right. Angles in. Kicks it off to Watson. Didn't know it was coming. And it's picked off in there by Coney. So the Rams cause a turnover. Here is Surgent. Parker goes on Hamlin. Lays it up. It's no good. But a foul is called. And this is our first foul of the game. Took almost half of the first quarter to get it. And Surgent is going to shoot. Parker normally a very good free throw shooter. And he hits. Coney back on top, 8-7. 4.09 to go in the first. Glad you're with us here today. Some holiday basketball on the score. Girls game to follow. Second one is good, 9-7. Coney in the lead by two. Coney and Lawrence girls. They'll be joined by Central Maine Community College women's coach Andrew Morong for that one. The runner blocked there. Great block by Morin on Zaustuski. Morin kicks it outside and a push as he passed it off to Fournier, but a great play by Morin blocked the shot on Zaustuski and then ran it up the court for a fast break chance. Second foul on Lawrence. No shots here. It'll be an inbounding situation for Fournier. Jeff Bickford, big wide body coming in for Coney. Bickford wearing number 12, for those of you watching on our live stream. Out to Surgeon. Surgeon, back left side to Morin. Morin rifles it over to Benedict. Benedict, not bashful, takes the three. It's short. Rebound comes all the way over to Lunt in the corner. And here comes Lawrence. Hamlin gets the lead pass. Hamlin holds. Over to Lunt. Lunt to Kurian. Kurian open look from the corner. The three is no good. Rebound pulled down by Bickford. Makes his presence known right out of the gate. Here's Benedict. Benedict in the pivot. Lost it. Back outside to Surgeon. Stutter step. Goes in. High arcing jumper. No good. Rebound pulled down by Michael Hamlin. Three minutes to go in the first. 9-7. Coney in the lead. Kurian drops it off for Watson. Watson blows it. Goes up with a putback. Gets that. Count it. And one. So Watson atones for his mistake, gets the putback of his miss, and then gets fouled. That's the first foul of the game on Coney. Brandon Watson, line drive free throw is good. Lawrence back in front, 10-9. Coming in for the Bulldogs now, Lucas Proctor. And Watson will sit down. Lawrence with some pressure. Benedict into Surgeon. Surgeon. Left side, Fournier. Takes a three. It is way off. Rebound to Lunt. One and done for Coney. Here's Gavin Lunt up the left. To the middle. Pulls up inside the foul line. The pop is good. Gavin Lunt makes it 12-9, Lawrence. Two and a half to go in the first. Quickly paced game just as we suspected. Here's Benedict. Benedict on the weave to Fournier. Now to the big man off the bench, Jeff Bickford. Bickford back out to Surgent. Surgent goes on Hamlin. The floater, no. Rebound, Curian saved it, threw it in the lane, and Lunt picks it off. Lawrence with numbers, three on two. Lunt goes in, ball fake, lays it over, up and in. Good job there by Gavin Lunt to lay it off to Proctor. 14-9, Lawrence. Bulldogs with their largest lead of the first quarter. They lead five in the corner. Long one, no good by Bickford. And the rebound easily to Kirian. Not a Lunt. Gavin all the way. Runner will not go, but he will go to the line. Today's game is brought to you in part by Central Maine Community College. More than just a community college with over 40 academic degrees and certificates. One of the lowest tuition rates in New England. Go to cmcc.edu for more. Lunt at the line hits. 15-9. Lawrence increases the lead to six. Watson back in and Hamlin out. We're also going to get Preston Roy coming in for Lawrence as well. Lunt hits 16-9. Bulldogs on a 7-0 run here. 
with 143 to go in the first. Token pressure in the back. Here's Fournier. Fournier. Hands it off on the weave to Hopkins. Hopkins, we got traveling called on Hopkins. And Coney right now having a hard time. One and done at the offensive end or mistakes. And the Rams with some pressure now. Pass into Proctor. Now to Roy. Preston Roy hands it off to Zaustuski. Dane in trouble. He was doubled. Looks inside. The pass is tipped and stolen. Morin. Morin takes it up. Takes it all the way. Goes in. And he got bailed out from being called for traveling there. A foul called on Lawrence. And this will be an inbounding situation for Coney under their own basket. Down 16 to 9. 116 to go in the first. They try to go to Moore and they get it to him. Long body of his comes down with a pass. And Parker, who's the quarterback, of course, for the Coney Rams football team, overthrew his intended receiver on that one. And it goes to Coney. I don't know how many turnovers Coney has, but it's got to be five. Here in the first. Here is Zaustuski. Zaustuski over the timeline to the middle. Takes it all the way. Pulls up. Fade away. Pop. Yes. And Lawrence on a 9-0 run now. It's 18-9 with 55 seconds to go in the quarter. Morin. A jump shot. Wild way off. Surgent with a rebound. That's no good. Watson clears for Lawrence. So that time two and done. Right corner pass to Roy. In the pivot, Watson. Watson can't use it. Goes back outside to Roy. Left side, open look there for the three. Is good by Lucas Proctor. Lawrence can't miss right now. 21-9. to They've run off 12 in a row. 25 seconds to go in the quarter. Foul line left extended to Hopkins. Hopkins tries to split a double team. Boy, they're letting the boys play, and then they call a foul. After Hopkins grabbed his own rebound. Michael Hamlin coming back in for Lawrence. Cole Curian also coming in. Proctor's going to come out, and Lunt will get a blow here, too. Jason Pellerin got to be happy with his first quarter. Fournier to put it into play. Out deep to Surgeon. Quiet first quarter for Parker. Goes inside, takes it to the rack, misses the left-handed scoop, but he's going to the line. And Coney needs more of that from Parker Surgeons. Use that incredible explosive quickness that he has. Second foul called on Coney. Parker Surgeon at the line. Short. Stays 21 9. 16 seconds remaining. Roy coming out for Lawrence and coming in Trevor Pellerin. Second one by Surgeons. Got the roll. 21 to 10. 13 seconds left. Here's Michael Hamlin up the left. Guarded by Morin. Gets a pick. Hamlin takes a trip. Goes in. Runner. Bank shot. No good. Rebound. Loose. Fought for. And a foul is called as Fournier came away with the board. And a foul called on Coney. And this will be an inbounding situation there. They have 3.7 seconds left. Certainly plenty of time to set something up. They go on the four corners. Curing to put it in to Hamlin, to Pellerin. Back out front, Watson, the shovels out. Stusky, they don't get a shot off, so a wasted possession there. But an excellent first quarter for Lawrence. Score at the end of one. It's the Capital City Classic. The score is Lawrence 21, Coney 10. Back after this on the score. Whittemore & Sons, your Coyote tractor dealer. Dependable sales and service for over 50 years. We are located on the Waterville Road in Skowhegan. Sales and service by a family who cares. Over 30 years ago, Paul and John A. Bowen set out on a mission to help aging Mainers stay in their own homes. Assistance Plus grew from their passion, dedication, and integrity where clients come first. Today, Assistance Plus serves not only the elderly, but clients with developmental and behavioral health challenges. Assistance Plus is here for you today and through all points of your life. 
Mike Violet, Ryan Bell, back here at the Augusta Civic Center. Sean Packard is our videographer here for Game 1. Fast-paced first quarter, just like we thought with these two teams. And Lawrence on top here, 21-9. Bulldogs with the ball to start the second quarter. Michael Hamlin with it. Foul line right extended. Lawrence went on a 12-0 run in that first quarter to get their lead up to 12. It's now 11, and Curian is called for a carry. So it's a Coney ball. <clears throat> Lawrence with some pressure in the back on Benedict. Benedict gets the pass back in the corner to Fournier. Fournier goes baseline, doubled, peels off from that, kicks it back outside now. The shot is up by Morin, and it is no good, and the rebound is taken down by Lawrence. Baseline, right side pop, no good by Zaustuski. Did everything but score there. And the rebound is cleared by Benedict. Benedict to Morin. Parker turns down the three block by Zaustuski. Parker, Morin gets it back, goes in, jump step, and they're going to call a block. So a block is called. Take another look at that one right here. I think it was the right call. Had the feet still moving. First foul. Of the quarter, and Mike, I haven't got the chance to ask you yet, but the new free throw rules, no more one-and-ones in high right. school basketball. Yeah, and it's, um, I, I, I don't, I think that change was a solution in search of a problem, but the one thing I have noticed is it has sped games up, and the free throw is both uh, one of two good there. It has sped games up, but other than that, um, I still like the old way better. Right. I still liked it. We haven't seen a game yet where the strategy of fouling down the stretch to stop the clock and possibly get the ball back on a miss on a one and one as Hamlin rolls in, misses the righty runner, rebound Lunt. Lunt back to Hamlin. Hamlin tries to go on Benedict, leans in, can't use it, has to get out of there, gets it out to Zaustuski. Zaustuski pass deflected, got out to Kira, excuse me, to Pellerin. And Trevor Pellerin will back it up. Twenty one to eleven. The Lawrence lead is 10. Hamlin to Pellerin. Trevor to Lunt. Lunt angles in. Jump step pulls up too hard off the glass, and the rebound is cleared by Surgent. Surgent lead for Fournier, and it's tipped out of bounds by Lawrence. So I don't think it's a change that you really glaringly notice. No, but come down the stretch and... Definitely makes it more difficult to, yep. to get back into the game, especially with no shot clock. It does. And I am not an advocate of that at the high school level. Pellerin coming out for Lawrence, coming back in is Lucas Proctor. I think as you get to tournament time, that's when you'll really start to notice the changes, especially I think so. in the later rounds. Yeah, because games become more of a grind. Right. Pass deflected into the backcourt, and it's picked up back there by Josh Kidd. Kid right side, Morin for three. Check that Surgent, wrong Parker. Surgent for three. It's no good, and the rebounding action, we've got a foul. All right, here comes Cole Curian. Six minutes to go in the first half. Lawrence by ten. Outside, Hamlin for three. Left wing. It is no good. Rebound to Surgent. Parker, head up. Brings it up the floor. Picked up by Hamlin. Now to the elbow. Stutter step. He beats Hamlin on the dribble. Lays it in. Beautiful move by Parker Surgent. Yeah, nice move. Tony are going to need more of that if they're going to get back into this one. Rams have scored four straight. They've chiseled the lead down to eight. It's 21-13. to Curian to Zaustuski from Randolph, for God's sakes. That was no good, and the rebound is cleared by Fournier. That was a deep three. Surgent back door to Morin. Oh! Wow. A dipsy do move by Parker Morin on the bullet pass from Surgent, the opposite of what we saw on the football field this year. And Morin hits the wild shot and got fouled. And Coney now on a 6 0 run. Put a star beside that one. And Morin converts. And it's 21 to 16. All of a sudden, Coney right back in this one. Sure are. Five minutes or five points the difference. 5.20 to go in the half. Lunt 
circles around, pulls up on a dime, and stops that run with that runner there, 23-16. Gavin Lunt gets it back to seven, quickly down to Benedict. He got blocked, and the rebound to Lunt. Lunt pulls up, nothing there, outside. Great up fake by Hamlin. He got Morin up to the next solar system. The ball knocked out of bounds by Coney. So it will be Lawrence inbounding it. Hamlin holds it outside. Michael backs it out. Now on the weave goes to Kirian. Kirian back to Hamlin. Angles in left to right. Baseline right side wide open pop for Proctor. 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 And he knocks it down. 25-16. Lucas Proctor makes it a nine-point game. Whipped back outside, and the long one is no good. And it's traveling on Josh Kidd. So with 4.45 left in the first half, Cole Kirian. Kirian, lefty fadeaway pop, or fadeaway pop from the left side is no good. Kidd with the board. And Kidd is pushed. A foul called on Lawrence. Third team foul on the Bulldogs. Coney with just one so far. Timeout on the floor. We'll take one, two, four, 34 to go in the first half. The score from the Capital City Classic at Augusta is Lawrence 25, Coney 16, back after this. Do you need to replace your old, worn-out windows? Then you need to call Renewal by Anderson today. We're the replacement window division of Anderson which means you can get your project started right away by scheduling a free in-home consultation. Ask your consultant about pricing options, including our one-year price lot guarantee quote. Call now to schedule your free design consultation. This fantastic money-saving deal with great financing and soon. Installation is always included. included. Mike Violet and Ryan Bell back here at the Augusta Civic Center after the timeout called by... I believe Coney. We are ready to roll. Here's Parker Surgent. Surgent on the left to Parker Morin. Morin baseline. Great move. And his reverse layup, <clears throat> excuse me, on the other side is good. 25 18. Apologies for the voice. I have been down for the count here for a couple of days with a pretty bad cold, and the voice is definitely not 100%. So. Bear with me. Lunt, a leaner, no good by Gavin. Rebound, Surgent, or excuse me, Morin, and he battled for it. And we have got a foul call. And Lunt gets called for the foul. Now all of a sudden, Lawrence on four team fouls in trouble with still four minutes to go here in the second quarter. Yes. 25-18. All right, back outside. It is Surgent. Surgent, tricky dribble, left side, Fournier. Jacks a three, got it. Bang. Alex Fournier. 25 to 21. All of a sudden, she's a four point game. Angling in, Zaustuski. Zaustuski, a fadeaway pop, no good. Rebound, beautifully done there by Proctor, or checked up by Zeb Hanna in the game. And Hannah hits the putback. Just as I suspected, Ryan, the rosters that are posted on the KVAC website for Coney, 2022. Yeah, that'll make it tricky, huh? So that's why we didn't have rosters that matched up with the players that were introduced on the floor. Here's the free throw by Zeb Hannah. No good. Rebound, and we've got a foul called on that or a jump, jump. ball. It's a jump ball. Okay. And on the arrow... Lawrence will retain it. Bulldogs ball on the baseline. 327 to go in the first half. They lead by six. After the Hannah make. All right, they changed their mind on the possession arrow. And Coney's going to get it. Well, they but now they put it back in the right direction. All right, walking it up, Parker Surgent. Surgent at the top, guarded by Hamlin. Pellerin tried to blindside him there, but he felt it and dribbled away from it. Back to Surgeon. Surgeon, foul line right. Surgeon, who's headed to Thomas to play basketball. Fournier's runner. Good. Beautiful. 
running right-hander there by Alex Fournier. 27 to 23. Coney has closed it down to four. Here's Hamlin. Hamlin driving a fadeaway pop. No good. It ironed out. Rebound is run down on the far side by Ethan Demons. And Coney with a three can pull within one. Demons right corner trying to do it. He missed. And the rebound weak side. Beautifully done by Hamlin. Hamlin. Stops at the top. On the left to Pellerin. Pellerin in the corner to Kyrian. Kyrian drives. Nice pass. Laid it off and over for Zeb Hanna who hits. Drew the defense over from Hanna. And Hanna stuck it in. 29-23. It's a six-point game. Moore and almost blew a tire there and fell down. Back out front. He goes to Bickford. Now the deep one by Surgent rattles home. Parker Surgent makes it 29-26. With the three. Here's Zaustuski. Loops it back to Hamlin. Hamlin. Backs it out. On the elbow now to Hanna. Back to Hamlin. Hamlin for three. Top of the circle. No good. Rebound. Nicely done by Hanna. Wow, what a factor. He's been off the bench. Zeb Hanna, who didn't even play last year, has been huge here in the last couple of minutes. 31-26. Fournier from downtown. That was way off. And Hanna spears the rebound. Here's Hamlin. Minute and a half to go. Left side, Pellerin. Pellerin had the three, didn't take it. Curian inside the foul line. The pop is good. Lawrence starting to get some good looks again. Went through a stretch in that trail where they really couldn't get a good look. But really Surgeon, the fadeaway pop from the elbow. Gets the roll. Talk about a shooter's touch. 33-28. It's a five-point game. 105 to go. Curian, top of the circle. No good. He was feeling it, but... Didn't knock it down. Fournier with the rebound. Fournier ahead to Morin. Morin and angles in. Morin that is angles in and hits the shot. And it's back to three. 33 to 30. 50 seconds to go in the first half. Lawrence with the lead. Hamlin picks the dribble up. Guarded by Bickford. Away to Pellerin. Pellerin. Takes a trip to the right. Lobs it into Hannah. Hannah catches. Gets whacked. By Morin, and he's going to the line. Nice job by Trevor Pellerin to loop that pass in. And Zeb Hanna, who's coming off a terrific football season, didn't play basketball for the last couple of years, and, man, he's been a factor. And he hits his free throws. 34-30. All right, coming in for the Coney Rams, Jamayo Gillis. And Bickford comes out for the final 34.3. Second one by Hannah. No good. Rebound to the corner to Morin. Morin runs it up. Morin stops out in three-point land. Back to Surgent. Looks like Coney's going to wait. Isaiah Brathwaite has told them to wait. Here's Surgent pounding it into the floor. Guarded by Hamlin. Now kicks it over to Fournier. Fournier. Back to Surgent. Clock is at 10. Surgent going to go one-on-one -on -one with Michael Hamlin. To the foul line, no, he isn't. Back to Fournier, deep three. Front rimmed it, rebound. It'll count if it goes, and it does no. They waved it off. Well, we got the replay here. Man, I thought for sure he beat the clock on that one. I don't think he did. We can see the All replay right. here. We'll watch it again. Well, we can't see the clock. I suppose we can't see the clock. I, it looked like, <laughs> didn't think about that one. I think, I think it was just after the buzzer. I do think that is the right call. Okay, I'll go with your young eyes then. The consensus up here seems to be with the younger sets of eyes that he did not get the shot off in time. Doesn't matter. The official score at the half here in the Capital City Classic of this one between Coney and Lawrence. The Lawrence Bulldogs 34 and the Coney Rams 30. Halftime brought to you by Hammond Lumber Company is coming up next on The Score. Call now. Central Maine Community College in Auburn. Over 40 academic degrees and programs are recognized as some of the best in the United States. Nursing, criminal justice, forensic, psychology, IT, education, culinary arts, and so much more. Offering one of the lowest tuition rates in New England. Plus, a top-seeded national champion producing athletics department. 
Central Maine Community College in Auburn. Find your passion. Go to cmcc.edu. Looking to begin or further your career in manufacturing and don't know where to start? Miss State Machine is in need of CNC machinists at our Winslow facility where we manufacture components for some of the most exciting industries, aerospace, defense, power generation. I'm Jeremy Stanford, Manufacturing Manager, and I personally want to invite you to come learn about the great pay and benefits MidState Machine has to offer. To apply, visit MidStateUSA.com. That's MidStateUSA.com, an equal opportunity employer. Come grow with us. Dixon's Country Market on the Nick Road Benton has it all. Sunoco gas and 24-hour diesel, plus a jam-packed store with what you need to grab and go. And so much succulent food. Huge sandwiches, delicious wraps, and hand-tossed fresh dough-loaded pizza. They have drinks, snacks, fresh meat and cheese in their deli counter, plus local Lively's products that won't cost you a lot of money. And remember those whoopie pies. Delightful, delicious Dixon's Country Market in Benton. Supporting local high school school sports. Casella Waste. You see their trucks everywhere all the time. That's because they're out taking care of customers like you. Roll-off dumpsters, they've got them. 15 to 50 yards. And they're in your neighborhood picking up the trash so you don't have to worry about it. Weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly. From 2 to 10 yards. Casella Waste will also deliver portable toilets when and where you need them. And they offer septic services. Call to learn more about Casella Waste. 872-8257-872-8257 for Casella a waste. At PJ Diggs, they know septic systems. Maybe your existing system is failing or it's a new house lot. You need new installation. Call PJ Diggs. They can bring their site evaluator to design the right septic system. Headed to camp? Ditch the outhouse for a newly installed system. How about a septic system for your campsite? Imagine your own private campground. Already have a septic design? PJ Diggs can install it for you. Call 431-4299. That's 431-4299. At PJ Diggs, they know septic systems. One 31 Hinkley Road, Cayman. Notice the price of gas and oil lately? Thinking about a pellet stove? Pellets are a renewable resource that are economical, and pellet stoves don't have to be ugly or loud. Come talk to us at Somerset Stone and Stove. Let us explain why now is the best time to have your pellet stove installed. Wouldn't you love, love to have it? Mike Violet, age, excuse me, Mike Violet, Ryan Bell, back here live at the Augusta Civic Center. Sean Packard is our videographer here this afternoon for Game 1. Game 1, Coney Lawrence. Boys, it's been a beauty so far. Lawrence leading by a score of 34-30, to 30, exactly, Ryan, as we thought it was going to be up and down. It's been a track meet-like game for most of the game. And we had a shot at the end of the first half, the end of the second quarter, by... Parker Morin, here it is, off this miss by Fournier. Morin with the rebound, and the shot went. But unfortunately, we don't have a clock running at the same time, so we're not sure. My eyes thought, and I always go by sound, my ears thought it got off in time, but you didn't think so, and they yeah. didn't think so either. Yeah, no, I think it was just, just after the ball. It was certainly close, but it looked like he had just held on to it for that extra second. We don't have the... High tech NBA clock matchup, anything like that here. But, um, you know, Coney really turned it around in that second quarter, though, after Lawrence really ran away at the end of the first. Halftime's brought to you by Hammond Lumber Company, serving Maine and New Hampshire from 22 locations. Hammond Lumber, your building project partner in that first quarter for Lawrence, featured a 12 0 run, a 12 0 run. It was 9 to 9. Lawrence ran off 12 in a row before late free throw by Coney. Cut it down to 11 at the end of 121 to 10. Then in the midst of a great run in the second quarter by Coney, they had a 7-0 run, and they outscored Lawrence in the quarter 20 to 13. So the Rams really got their offense going in the second half. And one thing you have to do when you play the Coney Rams, you've got to slow down Morin and Surgent. The Parker show really is an effective one when they get out and get the ball on the wings and start running. Yeah, I mean, Coach told us early on, they're going to shoot threes. They're going to shoot early in possessions. And Lawrence said, that's okay. We'll run with them. They ended up getting some nice offensive rebounds early on, too. And I think that was a, a big factor in them getting out into that lead. But once Coney started hitting their shots, they were hot. 
Indeed, they were. So 34-30, to the Lawrence Bulldogs on top of the Coney Rims. This is the first of two Coney Lawrence games, the girls to follow here this afternoon. And Central Maine Community College women's head basketball, basketball coach Andrew Morong will join me for the call of that one. It'll be interesting to get his perspective on the players we are seeing, many of whom I'm sure he would love to have come play for the CMCC Mustangs, that's for sure. Yeah, I don't doubt it. So we'll take a timeout. 34 to 30, Lawrence over Coney at the half, back with the second half. After this, you're watching live coverage of the Capital City Classic. It's high school basketball on the score. Oh, please start. You wouldn't allow your car to bypass its maintenance, would you? Hey, Jen, would you look this up on your computer? Oh, wish I could. This office computer is so slow. How about your computer maintenance? Trust the pros at Computer Improvements. They can come on site or stop by. Handling general maintenance, antivirus protection, hardware upgrades, and computer improvements can set you up with solid-state hardware memory, giving your operating system wicked fast response time due to less moving parts. So your day isn't like this. Contact Computer Improvements to schedule your service today. Computer Improvements, downtown Skowhegan. Mike Violet here in the studio where I do opening drive every weekday from 7 until 9 on the score. And in my hands, I've got a mafia envelope, as I call it, full of University of Maine hockey tickets, men's hockey, women's basketball, and men's basketball that the University of Maine was nice enough to give us to give to you. Very simple process for you to win these UMaine hockey, men's, and women's basketball tickets. Go to YouTube, go to Central Maine Sports, our YouTube channel, and subscribe. Once you've done that, send us an email to the score at centralmainsports.com. That's the score at centralmainsports.com. That allows us to verify your username and that officially gets you in to win University of Maine hockey, men's basketball, and women's basketball tickets, all from the place for local sports and your home for University of Maine hockey, women's, and men's basketball. The score. For us, it's a family business that is steeped in tradition. You know, our relationship with Waterville goes back a long ways. Over the years, we've been fortunate enough to grow, and we've been able to grow with the town. We look at the work that we do as something bigger than just the sale of a car or the servicing of an automobile. We're here to be a part of something bigger than just ourselves by giving back to the community with our time and our energy, because it's all about taking care of people. Mike Violet, Ryan Bell, back here at the Augusta Civic Center, high above courtside as the Coney Rams and the Lawrence Bulldogs get ready to get going here in the second half. Lawrence, it'll be Curian, Zaustusky, Watson, Hamlin, and Lunt. The Parkers, Morin, and Surgent, along with the following. Alex Fournier out there. Also out there is Josh Kidd. And to complete the five, it's Jordan Benedict. The ball is Lawrence's. And taking it right in is Gavin Lunt. His leaner won't go, but he will go to the line. So a 34-30 game here at the half. Let's take a quick look back. Brought to you by Midstate Machine. If you're looking for a career, check out the Machinist Development Program at MidstateUSA.com. 35-30. to Lawrence led by 11 at the end of 1. 21-12. to Bulldogs outscored by Coney in the second. 20-13. to The lead cut to 4. It's now back to 6 on the two Lunt free throws. 34, excuse me, 36-30. to Benedict on the drive. Pulls up. Too hard. Offensive foul. Wouldn't have counted anyway. Our game reset brought to you by Midstate Machine. Benedict called for the foul. Going to get a sub here very quickly for Coney. Ethan Demons will come in for Benedict. Demons coming off a very successful football season. Here's Lawrence Cole Kurian. Kurian up the right. Stutter step, and he almost threw that one away. Lunt bailed him out. Gavin takes it in. Look at that little spinning runner, and it's good. Gavin. 38 to 30. It's back, and Lawrence steals the inbounds pass. It's back to eight. Kirian goes in. Right corner, Lunt wide open. Turned down the three, then it's knocked away. Here's Morin. Morin between two Bulldogs. He won't take it the distance. His short jumper is no good. Great rebound by Demons, though. Demons to Morin, and now they're set up. Coney in the half court. Little lob pass over to Kidd. Kidd takes the shot. No good. Kirian with the rebound. Kirian out of the shoot. Right side to Zaustusky. So Stusky 
Over the defense to Hamlin. Hamlin lines up the three and nails it. And it's back up to 11. 41 to 30. Lawrence by 11. 6.50 to go. Here's Surge and foul line pop. 6.50 to go. I don't know if Lawrence got a piece of that. But you rarely see that bad a shot by Surgeon. Zaustuski from way downtown wow. rattles it home. That one from Winthrop. And Isaiah Brathwaite wants time as Zaustuski has bumped the lead up to 14 at 44-30 on a wild shot from way downtown. Yeah, I don't blame it. It seems like as soon as one team gets hot, the other team gets cold. And everything going in favor of Lawrence right now. A wild three-pointer, and of course it goes in 44-30. A 10-0 run to start the third quarter by Lawrence. And it's 44-30. If it sounds like it's quiet in here, that's because it's quiet in here. This big building which seats over 6,000. We've probably got a few hundred. And so we are high above courtside, so we're not in the midst of any of the crowd noise. So that's why it sounds as quiet as it does. Fournier drives no good. Rebound to Zaustuski. One and done for Coney. Dane, stutter step on the right. In the pivot, dropped it down to Watson. Watson blocked by Morin, and we've got a jump ball after that. It's going to go to Coney on the arrow. Held ball there, Kid and Watson on the tie-up. That's the risk you take if you're Coney. Taking those quick shots, it allows Lawrence to really build momentum on the offensive end. Sergeant does a dance. Tricky dribble inside. Now kicked it outside to Demons for three. No good. Lawrence all over that rebound on the weak side, and then... Lunt almost threw it away. Lunt gets it back. Lunt, a stutter step. Lunt goes in, tries that left-handed thing again, and he is fouled, and he's going to the line. Of course, Gavin Lunt is left-handed, so that's why you see this move done by him so much, but he has got a great, great drive to the basket move. 10-0 run, an 11-0 run, 45-30. Demons out and coming in for the Coney Rams. I don't have a number 11 even on the new roster we've got. Second one is also good. 46 to 30, so it's a 12 0 run. Here's Surgeons to Fournier. Fournier, left side. The long one is good. First points of the second half for Coney. LaSalle, whomever that might be. And at the other end, Lawrence gets two of it right back. And it's 48-33. to 33. Cole Curian with the lay-in. Here's Surgent. Outside to Morin. The drive. Oh, Parker Morin. Beautiful reverse. 48-35. to 35. It's a 13-point lead for Lawrence. Driving, it's Hamlin. Hamlin goes in, blocked there by Morin. Morin saves it and gave it over to Kidd. Parker Morin having a nice couple of minutes. Whips a pass, left corner. Fournier drives, reverse, no good. Nothing but air, rebound cleared by Watson. The outlet to Curian, lead for Zaustuski. Under the basket, beautifully run fast break. And Lunt cashes in and hits. Hardly any passes, and man, the coaches love that. Or hardly any dribbles, I should say. Coaches love that. Left corner, the drive, the runner, no. Rebound fought for. Watson comes away with it. Watson using all of his muscle. And Zaustuski threw it away. So a turnover by Zaustuski. It goes to Coney. 424 left in the third. 50 to 35. Referee getting clarification on something over there. All set with that. Here comes Coney. Alex Fournier over the timeline to Surgeon. Surgeon had a pick from Morin, didn't use it, drives left handed, no good, got his own rebound, put it back up and in, stuck with it. 50 to 37. 50 to 37. Curie in a stutter step. No look to Watson. Up fake over Morin. No good, but he's going to the line. 
Nice pass by Cole Kurian. Marsh is moving the ball so well on the offensive end. Coney with no answers. None so far. Shot is no good. Second one is on the way. That one is good. 51-37. Sergeant mistribbled it, I guess you can call it. He might have dribbled it off the side of his shoe, and Curian picks up the loose ball. Driving is Hamlin. Hamlin pulls up on a dime, waits for everybody to goes, go by, and hits. 53-37. The drive, the runner by Fournier at the other end is good for Coney. 53-39. Alex Fournier hitting on the driving layup. Out front, Cole Kirian Drives in, lays it off to Watson. Watson can't use it. Now Zaustuski. Back to Watson. Watson up. No. Rebound, Zaustuski. Little runner, front rimmed it. Lawrence with all kinds of great looks within five feet or so. And they can't cash in. Well, that's just how the game's gone the entire way. Lawrence dominating the painted areas. Unable to convert that time, but just open look after open look. Lucas Proctor in for Brandon Watson. And it'll be a Coney ball. Here's Surgent. Surgent drives. Surgent's runner. No, but he's going to go to the line, and he'll shoot two. Coney Lawrence girls coming up right after this one. Lawrence 3-0, and and they have steamrolled through the first three. And yeah, not many teams that are going to compete with Lawrence this year in Class A North on the girls' side of things. Shot is good. They lost their entire starting five, and it doesn't matter. Not at all. Looks, looks like they haven't lost a step. 53-40. 53-41. We've got a whistle and a timeout called by Coney. 3-0-3 to go in the third. Lawrence up 12. Score Bulldogs 53 Coney 41, you're watching and listening to High School Basketball on the score. I came for a visit and I just fell in love with it. They just want to see you be you and like just excel. There's a lot of opportunities here. It really gives me time to figure out what I want to do with my life. It's a good stepping stone to get to where you want to be. The tuition is definitely part of what brought me here. You know, credits transfer, that's huge, especially for a community college when you're trying to figure out what you want. CM's the best place. Honestly, it's the best place. you got to be here to experience it. When you're ready to tackle your next building project, no matter how big or small, depend on Hammond Lumber Company for the products and services you need. The knowledgeable staff at Hammond Lumber will be with you every step of the way and keep your project on schedule. From free estimating and project planning to design and drafting services, an extensive product inventory with a wide variety of brands to choose from, and of course, Hammond delivers from any of the locations across Maine and New Hampshire. Hammond Lumber Company, your building project partner. Three minutes, three seconds left in the third. Lawrence with the ball. They lead 12. It's 53-41. Here's Michael Hamlin. Hamlin. Pop out to Proctor. Proctor holds. Proctor hands to Zaustowski. Dribbles in. Kicks it left corner. Hamlin there. Wide open three. A little bit off. And the rebound on the weak side to Coney. It was Morin coming away with it. Parker Morin hustles up. Stops foul line left. Looking for Surgent. He's not open. The mysterious number 11 drives and lays it in. Whomever he is, that's a heck of a move. Something LaSalle. I can't catch the first name. Aiden, maybe? Say what? Might be Aiden. Don't Aiden take, LaSalle? Don't right. take my word on that. All right, we'll just go with LaSalle for now. Here's Cole Kirian, 10-point game, 53-43. The way this game has gone, that lead means nothing. Kirian rimmed it out. Banked it, and it was no good. Rebound Gillis. Surgent to LaSalle. LaSalle, baseline, fouled. Lawrence giving Coney a chance to get back into it, missing some nice looks underneath the basket. Lawrence foul at number four, Lucas Proctor. Personal foul number four. Team foul number three. LaSalle at the line shooting. It won't give you a first name, huh? <laughs> 
LaSalle at the line. He'll shoot two. No good. Stays at 10, 53-43. Proctor comes out. Watson back in for Lawrence. Bulldogs with their starting five out there. One more for LaSalle. Second one is good. 53-44. Two minutes to go in the third. Michael Hamlin. Lawrence is led by as many as 15. Now they lead by nine. Here's Zaustowski. Dean. Tricky dribble at the top. Now to Kirian. Kirian stutters. Works his way in. Has to kick it out. Does to Hamlin. Corner. Drives. Goes up. Block. Great job there by Morin. And the loose ball picked up by Gillis. Ahead to Sergeant. Sergeant outside the three. Is no good. In and out by Fournier. And the rebound to Kirian. Cole up the left. Stops and pops and hits. 55-44. Jason Pellerin taking a 30-second timeout. We'll keep it right here. 121 to go in the third. It's 55-44 in favor of Lawrence. Local sports on the score, as always, presented by Central Maine Community College with more than just a community college. They are more than just a community college. Over 40 academic degrees and certificates. One of the lowest tuition rates in New England. Just go to CMCC. Dot edu and women's coach Andrew Morong will join me for game number two. He has 300 wins now in his career at CMMC. Coach Morong will sit in with me here for game two between Coney and Lawrence. It is a Coney's ball, a Coney ball. They trail by 11. Lawrence going to turn up the pressure a little bit. The pressure of the ball. Now Stusky in the back. Now they back off. So not. Much pressure in the end. Here's Fournier. Fournier drives, lays it over, right side to Gillis. Gillis blows a bunny of a shot, and the rebound to Watson. Ahead to Lunt. Gavin, wide open side, lays it off to Watson. Watson just drops it in. Great pass by Gavin Lunt. Man, what a feed there. 57-44. Morin. In the corner, LaSalle for three, rimmed it out, rebound on the weak side to Hamlin, 50 seconds to go. To Kirian. Kirian almost lost it on the dribble, now to Hamlin. Hamlin backs it out, let's see what Lawrence does here. They're spreading things out, here's Zaustuski on the left, 57-44, he takes the three. It's no good, I'm not sure that's the shot they wanted. And the rebound to Morin. Now Coney will spread. Morin to LaSalle. Now to Fournier. Fournier to Morin. Clock at 15. Morin backs it out. They're going to wait. Morin pounds it into the floor. Lunt on him. Morin drives. Pulls up from 7 or 8 feet. No good rebound. Lunt, he'll hang on to it. And that is it for the third. Lawrence will take a 13-point lead in the fourth quarter. The score here at the Capital City Classic in Augusta. The Lawrence Bulldogs 57, Coney Rams 44. Back after this on the score. When it comes to your family's winter safety, 201 Tire Battering Service and Nokian Tires has your back with a Hakapalita R5. These Nokians are pure safety, offering comfort plus increased range for electric vehicles and hybrids. Get your Nokian Hakapalita R5s at 201 Tire Battering and Service, your complete auto center. Mechanics you can trust, Nokian Tires to keep you safe on the road. Your safety team is Nokian Tires and 201 Tire battery and service route 201 vassalboro local sports on the score brought to you by whittemore and sons your coyote tractor dealer sales and service by a family that cares by somerset stone and stove offering quality gas pellet wood stoves and hands uh hardscape products and also by 201 Ta- let me try this again 201 tire battery and service your tire battery and service experts on the augusta vassalboro line final eight we are ready to roll it is a Lawrence ball. They lead by 13. They outscored Coney 23-14 in the third. Lunt goes in. The leaner does not go. Watson got the rebound on the offensive end. He somehow managed to get over the back of Bickford without committing a foul. Zaustuski to Watson. Kicks it outside to Lunt. Lunt an up fake or checked out to Hamlin. Hamlin an up fake. Didn't take it on Morin. Now to Lunt. 
Luntz goes in, Kevin, lays it up and in. That's his shot, man. 59-44, Lawrence matching their largest lead of the game at 15. Fournier goes in, top shot, no good. A lot of blue there, and Lawrence with a rebound. Ahead to Luntz. Lunt takes it all. Right-handed scoop. Counted and won. Wow. Gavin Lunt goes righty. And he hits. And it gives Lawrence their largest lead of the game, 61-44. to Have another look at that. Loves the left hand. Goes right for once. Through the contact and won. Lawrence up 17. 18. 62-44, Bulldogs' largest lead of the game with 7-10 to go in the fourth quarter. Surgeon trying to go on Zaustowski. Kicks it outside. We've got a foul called as they got it out to Bickford. This is on Lawrence. Lawrence foul on number three, Dan Zaustowski. Fouls on Zaustowski. The lob into Morin. Morin to Surgeon. Surgeon from way deep. No good. Rebound, he got his own. They didn't box him out, and he hits. Lawrence, fundamental basketball there. They didn't practice it. 62-46. 6.50 to go in the fourth quarter. Here is Hamlin. Hamlin on the right. Splits the double team. There is Watson. Drops it in. That's happened twice now. 64-46. Lawrence back up 18. Benedict. Shut up. By one picked up by South Dusky. Has Surgeon to beat. Waits for some help. Loops it over. There is Hamlin. Hamlin got tied up. Lawrence will keep it on the arrow. Didn't work out that time, but Lawrence not afraid to make the extra pass in the paint. A lot of drop passes that have led to open layups. And apparently the arrow was headed in the wrong direction. Coney gets it. Second time we've had an issue yeah. with that arrow. Because as the play ended, it was pointing in Lawrence's direction. Here's Surgeon over to Benedict. Benedict. Drifting outside. Almost lost it. Left corner. Kicked it over there to Bickford. Bickford to Benedict for three. No. Run down by Curian and a backhanded no-look pass. Ends up working out. Here's Zaustowski. That's a carry. So Dane turns it over. Looking over to the far side, Lawrence girls chomping at the bit to play. They're all dressed and ready to roll, as are the Coney girls. That'll be our nightcap of this doubleheader between Coney and Lawrence. Benedict. Foul line pop on the way. Got it. 64-48. Lawrence by 16. Does Coney have a run in him? Hamlin tries to split a double team. The runner, he hits it. Lawrence just Not if miss. they keep hitting shots like that. 66-48, Benedict. Too much dribbling there. Loses it, but Lunt can't take advantage of it. Benedict with it back over to Fournier. Fournier back to Benedict. He jacks a three. No. Rebound to Watson. Here's Zaustuski. Floats up the right side to Kirian. Now back to Zaustuski. Trying to beat Fournier on the dribble. The runner, no. Short with it. Rebound to Benedict. And a foul, no. A jump ball. Lawrence will get that one. Are we sure? Yes. <laughs> Lawrence ball. Cole Kieran will put it into play. Lob into Hamlin. Outside. To Lunt on the swing, Zaustuski back down low to Hamlin. Hamlin in the pivot, count it, and one. And the lead is 20. Lawrence continues to execute at the offensive end as we see this one again. Michael Hamlin, great moves inside. Demons coming back in for Coney, coming out of the game, Jeff Bickford. Michael Hamlin, who's had a fine game. Hits, and the lead is 21, 69 to 48. Five minutes to go. Benedict drives, loses it on the dribble. And that was all on him. It's out of bounds. Referee has to run it down to the concession stand down there. A lot of space in the end of the court. Lots Both of ends. space. None of those Unlo student sections. Yeah, unlike tournament time where that is all concession, 
It's just the one little concession stand open now. Lawrence over the timeline, Kurian. Kurian works it to the right. On the weave to Lunt. Lunt, little push off. No foul. Called it. He hits the shot. 71 48. Bully ball. Sure is. They're letting him play. I kind of like it. Morin almost outfoxed himself there to Demons. Not a surgeon who's really been quiet today. Lawrence has kept him in check big time. Benedict. They need some shots. The shot is up. No good. Rebound is cleared right there. Watson. Ahead to Lunt. Lunt tipped out of bounds by Benedict. Nope. Tipped out of bounds. Benedict off Curie and then out of bounds. So the lead is 23, the largest of the game. Did not see this. No, I mean, Coney battled back early. Looked like they had a chance to keep this one close, maybe even take a lead. And there's a steal by Hamlin. Hamlin goes up over Morin. Shot no good. Rebound boxed around. Lunt saved it right to Surgent. Surgent drives, goes up. Shot won't go. He'll go to the line. But it's looking like it's going to be too little too late. Yeah, two teams in search of a win, and early on it looked like both teams were really battling it out. Both teams knew what was at stake here tonight, looking for a second win of the season. And Lawrence has just pulled away in the second half. Shot is good by Surgent. 71-49. to 49. Zeb Hanna coming in for Brandon Watson, who played a superb game. And Hanna, when he was in in the first half, was a significant part of the late run in the second quarter. Second free throw is good, 71-50. to 50. Lawrence by 21, 350 to go in this game. Curian to Hannah. Hannah back to Curian. Curian floats on the baseline. Right there is Hannah. That's been open all game long. Whether it's Watson or Hannah, it has been there. Here's Morin. Not a Fournier. Fournier to Benedict. Benedict jacks a three. No good. Rebound, Hannah. Boy, Jason Pellerin's got to love what he has seen from Zeb Hannah. That is another body that he can use up front to go along with Proctor and Watson. Three big old football players. Lawrence looking to take some time off the clock now. Leading by 23. It's approaching three minutes left. Bad pass inside. Tipped. Coming away with it, Demons tries to thread the needle to Surgent. Surgent got a shot off, but they say no. Before that, a held ball, the arrow belongs to Coney. I think that's the right call. Really great play there to just get hands on the ball and not commit the foul. Coney keep it, though. It'll be Fournier to put the ball into play. Three minutes left. Wide open in the corner, giving up the three there, Demons. Goes to Morin. Morin has it knocked away. A foul blindside there by Cole Kurian. Got two more back here tomorrow night. Skowhegan Mesolonsky girls tip off at 6. Skowhegan Mesolonsky boys will tip off at 7.30. Both of them here on the score. Live audio and video. CentralMainSports.com, 1160thescore.com. At Central Main Sports on YouTube. Please go and subscribe. You'll be eligible to win. You mean hockey tickets? You mean men's and women's basketball tickets? Again, go to our YouTube channel, at Central Main Sports, and subscribe. Runner is good by Fournier. Alex Fournier. 73-52. 2.40 left. Big week. We've got seven games from today through Saturday. There is Zeb Hanna again. Zeb Hanna. 75-52. Player of the game contention. <laughs> He's really played terrifically off the bench, trying to drive in there. Josh Kidd, nowhere to go. Nice spinning move by Lunt to get out of the pressure. Lunt goes up, pulls up. No. Rebound to Fournier. Fournier on the break. Drifts in, goes up, and runs into Hannah. That was the end of that. Curian to Zaustowski. Goes up over Surgent. Doesn't hit the shot. Rebound Hannah. Hannah got it! Zeb Hanna is the man. What I say? Player of the game. That's going to give him the player of the game right there. <laughs> Zeb Hanna looking like Wilt Chamberlain out there. 
He's going to the line. He has bumped the lead up to 25. With a chance to make it 26. No, a little long rebound, though, to Lunt, of course. Lunt back up and in. He'll take two instead of one. 79-52. Lawrence putting on a clinic. The Bulldogs approaching 80. Fournier, runner, up and in. Nice left-handed move by Alex Fournier. Alex Fournier. 79-54. Buck and a half left. Team's going to empty their benches should they get the opportunity. Kyrian goes in. The runner, no. He will go to the line. And now we will get some of the subs to come in and get some PT. Cole Kyrian at the line. Got it. And Lawrence hits 80. 80 to 54. And everybody comes out of the game except for Cole Kyrian, and that'll happen momentarily should he hit the free throw. A minute 28 left. We've got a whole new cast of characters. Second one is good, 81-54. Kyrian will exit stage left, and here is Pellerin to take his place. 128 left. Lawrence with a resounding victory here in game one. Top of the circle, Lassell. Hands it off to Gillis. Now outside to Shabbat. Driving his Demons, had his pocket picked by Trevor Pellerin. Pellerin goes in. Pellerin lays it over. Great pass by Trevor. And the layup there for Preston Roy. Preston Roy. 83-54. One minute to go. Here's LaSalle. LaSalle, bounce pass inside to Demons. Demons' shot is good from the left of the basket. 83-56. 45 seconds left. Here's Trevor Pellerin. Pellerin. Out front to Roy. Now driving through Cam Blodgett. Ball ends up out of bounds. It'll go to Coney. A couple of more players coming in for Lawrence. Dawson Moore coming in and also Matt Quigley coming in. So everybody's played. Thirty-five seconds left. Here's LaSalle. To the left, and he forgot the ball. Picked off. Driving is Leighton Bradford. Bradford goes in, and a whistle on Coney, and a foul on the Rams. Today's game also brought to you by Renewal by Anderson. Award-winning replacement windows and doors. Schedule your free consultation today by P.J. Diggs. The excavation pros, if it's dirt, they do it all. By Assistance Plus, providing home care, behavioral health, and developmental services together we can make a difference. The free throw, good, 84-56. Second one, also good, 85-56. The lead is 29. Good math. Thanks. Saw, took, saw the wheels turning took me the a, yeah, It took me a minute. The drive, the runner by LaSalle is good. Excuse me, Demons with the runner, e, uh, 85-58. Five seconds left, and Lawrence will just hold it. Leighton Bradford will pound it into the floor, and that is the end of that. A great victory for the Lawrence Bulldogs. They pick up win number two, and they do it in blowout fashion. Hold on here. I want to get. We'll take a timeout. Final score 85 58. Back after this on the score. Whittemore and Sons, your Coyote tractor dealer. Dependable sales and service for over 50 years. We are located on the Waterville Road in Skowhegan. Sales and service by a family who cares. Over 30 years ago, Paul and John A. Bowen set out on a mission to help aging Mainers stay in their own homes. Assistance Plus grew from their passion, dedication, and integrity where clients come first. Today, Assistance Plus serves not only the elderly, but clients with developmental and behavioral health challenges. Assistance Plus is here for you today and through all points of your life. 
Do you need to replace your old, worn out windows? Then you need to call Renewal by Anderson today. We're the replacement window division of Anderson, which means you can get your project started right away by scheduling a free in-home consultation. Ask your consultant about pricing options, including our one-year price lot guarantee quote. Call now to schedule your free design consultation. This fantastic money-saving deal with great financing and soon. Installation is always included. Call now. Central Maine Community College in Auburn. Over 40 academic degrees and programs recognized as some of the best in the United States. Nursing, criminal justice, forensic, psychology, IT, education, culinary arts, and so much more. Offering one of the lowest tuition rates in New England. Plus, a top-seeded national champion producing athletics department. Central Maine Community College in Auburn. Find your passion. Go to cmcc.edu. Mike Violet, Ryan Bell, back here post-game, game number one in the books, and what a resounding victory for the Lawrence Bulldogs. They blow the doors off the Coney Rams in the second half and win 85-58. to This was a game in the first half that did seesaw quite a bit, although Lawrence was able to hold the lead. They had a 12 to nothing run in the first quarter, got them out to an 11-point lead at the end of 1, 21-10. Coney came back. Their best quarter of the they game, did. Ryan, was the second quarter. They outscored Lawrence 20-13. to Yeah, specifically early on in that first quarter, shots were falling. They like to shoot, I would say, early in the shot clock. There is no shot clock. Early in possessions, I should say. Um, and, and they were falling for him early on, but once Lawrence got going later in the second quarter and really in the start of the third, it was, it was wraps. Yep, third quarter, Lawrence outscored Coney 23-14, to so the Bulldogs bumped their lead up at times in that quarter up to 15. They led by 13 at the end of three, but Lawrence just went wild in the fourth quarter as they scored 38 points in the fourth quarter and just dominant fashion they outscored them 38 to 14 and cruising to the win 85 to 78 the scoring totals the high score for the coney rams parker surgeon no surprise he had 19 parker surgeon had 12 so the parkers accounting the parker show accounting for 31 alex fournier had 11 points for the lawrence bulldogs cole kirian nine brandon watson had eight michael hamlin had 13 and Zeb Hanna off the bench with 14 points, and he had some big shots, some big rebounds. So Zeb Hanna is going to be our score player of the game. Now, honorable mention certainly goes to Gavin Lunt, who was terrific in this game. Lunt with 25 points. He was magnificent. But Zeb Hanna was like finding that $20 bill in your pocket when you start a new season, like in the oh, fall yeah. or the winter. That's how that was today. So because Zeb Hanna was like the found $20 bill, <laughs> he is our score player of the game. Yeah, I think Lunt will have plenty of chances to be a player of the game. But Hanna, what a, what a game. What a fourth quarter. What a second half. And just couldn't stop scoring. Came out of nowhere, like you said, and scored Almost all of his points in the paint through contact didn't matter. He was just a beast down low, as were all the Lawrence players. But what a surprise. Yeah, I, I mean, I I can't wait to see what the shooting numbers were in this game. I'll get them from Jason Pellerin at some point. And Lawrence certainly can't expect to shoot like they did every night today. But, you know, when you hold the Parkers to 31 points combined, you will take that every single game. Absolutely. You really will. So Lawrence with the win goes to 2-3, and three, and Coney with the loss. They are now 1-4 and four on the year. So that does it for game number one. Game number two, the girls are on the floor right now. Should be a good one between the defending Class A champions, the Lawrence Bulldogs, and the Coney Rams. Coach Andrew Morong of the Central Maine Community College women's basketball team will join me for that one. We'll have it for you right after this on The Score. Welcome to The Score, the free epicenter. Of Thanks for tuning in to The Score. In case you don't want to miss the next one, subscribe, like, and hit the bell to stay informed. This is the place for free local high school sports, The Score. And it's been brought to you by Central Maine Community College, Central Maine Motors Auto Group, Hammond Lumber Company, Mid-State Machine, Whittemore & Sons, Somerset Stone & Stove, 201 Tire Battery and Service, PJ Diggs, Renewal by Anderson, 
assistance plus computer improvements dixon's country market and my casella waste